Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to Let's Not Fall in the Hole and Be an Idiot. What is this trend? I can finish nearly all of the dungeon in one video, and then I have to cut off before the damn boss. Then we have to go underground. This is the easiest boss fight ever. Yeah, that's pretty much all you do. start throwing like rocks at you and stuff like that later on, but it's easy as hell. It's like I wish they made it somewhat more challenging, like they electrified it or something like that, like the buzz blob, so you know, just, I mean for a level four boss, it's just way too easy. This whole dungeon is, itself is just very easy. But that's okay, they start to ramp up the difficulty now. There's two things we want to do before we leave this place. One, we want to go in here. And talk to this fish. The sunfish? What the hell is a sunfish? Well, I have an ocarina. I love the song. <laughs> now, this song is totally ripped from a different song, and if you know what I'm talking about, Feel free to post it in the comments because I want to—I I don't want to say it, and I want to see if anyone else recognizes it. We can learn Mambo's Mambo. Say that three times fast. Don't play it when you get out of the water. This song is actually going to be pretty useful. Sorry, I am gonna play it, but we wanna get something else first. This is where you end up if you take that exit outside level four. That's how you get out of the place if you don't have the flippers yet. I found this on accident. In here is a piece of heart. There is a waterfall. No, there's a. What's... There's something like a screen above that if you fall into it, you end up in that cave. And that's how you exit from it. Okay, so let's go ahead and play the song. Yeah, it's a warp song. And if we're in the overworld, you will always end up here. See? And a bit of con. If you play inside of a dungeon, it will warp you to the start. Now we have a ghost following us. Okay. He automatically appears once you complete level 4. And there is a way to talk to him. I can't remember if he talks to you or you... No, I don't think you can talk to him. It took me forever to figure out what to call this one up. No, I, I wanted to avoid that. Damn it. See, shows we have an area of 15, okay. Okay, but basically, this ghost will eventually start talking to you. He's gonna take to tell you to take him home to the bay. Now, we didn't actually explore that part of the game because I bypassed it, knowing we'd be back there later. He's just gonna follow you forever. No, not forever, but until you give him what he wants. There's a fairy if you remember that tree, by the way. So we're gonna go down to the beach and take him back home. If you try to skip it and go to level five, he will not let you enter. So people say, "Oh, there's monsters in there. I don't want to go in there." Blah 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 blah. I don't know if I read that sign before. I probably did at the beginning of the game. You don't want to touch enemy and the enemy and it's giving you bare hands anyway. Sorry, I was scratching the itch. Okay. 
which is right here. And while we're here, we're gonna go do go do that cave up there. This is his home. My home, my home. I'm not gonna come back here, but once we deal with the ghost, and I'm not gonna come back here just because it's out of my way. Once you deal with the ghost, um, there will be a secret seashell underneath one of the pots in his home. I usually will skip that one because it's way too far out of my way. And we're gonna get the secret seashell while we're here. We actually have access to most of the remaining ones, not all of them. Three of them are that I can think of. Maybe four. I think four, yeah, are completely out of our reach for now. But that's not gonna matter because we're gonna get all 20 by the time we get to the next dungeon anyway, because I will go out of my way to get them. Maybe we only have four left at this point, so. Now we can get into this cave. Which leads us up here. Which leads us to yet another cave. This look familiar to anyone? I didn't. I don't know how the hell I ever figured this out. Probably because I thought this was a torch or something that needed lighting. But this is a throwback to Link to the Past with this guy. Um. Yeah. No. Yes. He will upgrade magic powder bombs and arrows and give you that choice in that order. And you can pick any order you want. And what he will do is he will double the capacity on all of them. There's three of them in the game. That's one of them. Uh, number two is actually in the mysterious forest. Underneath a rock. He's probably the first one you'll probably end up encountering. And the third one we won't encounter for a long, long time. Which is better because... Who the hell needs more magic powder anyway? Now we're gonna take the easy way. Because he wants to go to the cemetery. And now we want that. His grave is actually right there. Shell underneath this spot. You know, that's not what I wanted to do. At this point in the game, it's like I, I always get a couple of different seashells because I always forget where some of them are. Yep, see, he's telling you. Look inside! So, there's a secret seashell on one of them, and it will not, I think it's in the corner, and it will not appear until he tells you it would appear, so. zombies here, and we're actually gonna go in here. We can get in here much earlier in the game, but since I knew we'd be coming here. You're supposed to use the hookshot to get over there, but... And I did not mean to do that. Yeah, you're supposed to bum that up and use the hookshot, but you can just see if I break this whole thing. So we get eight pieces of heart. Now we have four more left. And this leads us to the graveyard, which we haven't seen. That's the way the color dungeon is in the, uh, the remix, remake, whatever the hell you want to call it. DS version, whatever the hell you want to call it, like I said. And I'm just showing this for, yeah. Obviously, if you push the right gravestone, you'll end up in that passage as well. Get 
it. And there's nothing left in, in Dust of the Dead before, so... Actually, no. Yeah. Oh, there's something I can get over here. I'm actually gonna get the last few seashells before I, uh, enter level 5. Secrets are like water when it comes to bridges. He's referring to something else here, but there is a secret seashell in this spot. And that's all the time we have for now, so let me decide to plan an action for the closest two seashells, and I'll see you next time.